I am Chicago AD, and we are here united for what? New no, Chicago! Coalition representing organizations from across the city who have come together um, around key issues affecting our communities. So we've organized this forum um, to educate the candidates about um, about these issues um, in our community. So, and I'm with Jewish Council on Urban Affairs, and I'm here mostly to talk about human rights. We know that there are many, many needs in our communities and needs that are being denied by many of our communities, and human rights speaks to those needs. It speaks specifically to rights that every human person has because they are a human being. And a lot of the work that we're doing here is about bringing these candidates together to talk about accountability and talk about what, to what extent is our local government accountable to ensuring the respect and the protection of the fulfillment of our needs within our community. Uh, first of all, because we have not seen anybody come out to actually see how our neighborhood is, to actually see how bad our, our neighborhood is as far as gangs being involved with the school areas. And we also have gangs who are also trying to recruit young kids in our school areas. So, I mean, for the past 20 years, it's, it's been really hard. And now, hopefully, with these candidates, whoever wins, who happens to be here, whoever wins, will actually find a, a way or, an, or some way to make our community more safer for our children. Anybody else? That she is in Springfield to take the schools away from Mayor Daly because he was not doing a good job at running our schools. I don't think we need to turn a school around. I think we need to turn the whole school around. I want to produce the graduates. Our schools on I kept schools open longer and through the year. I'm proud of my record in the Chicago Public Schools. It's easy to get up here and throw shots, but Carol, as long as we're being truthful, why don't you tell them who gave you the bill to open those schools? We need to call our own teachers. So that our teachers will stand with our State receiving a lot of the transportation dollars, given that they have less of a population than the Chicago metropolitan area. The formula that's in place now is unfair. Uh, there's been a reluctance in Springfield to change that formula. We have to be able to acquire more of those resources, and at the same time, we've got to do an analysis of our lines and see what the utilization rate is and see how we can shift from a third shift to a second shift or a first shift in terms of increasing transportation for different parts of the city that are underserved at this time. There is an unfairness in the distribution of the lines and that has to be resolved through working with the CTA. rights. We fought for good schools, for affordable housing. We fought to include all of the people in Chicago so that it can become one city, one Chicago, where everybody makes a difference. Are we? No. No.